Hey guys, so um, my Mark Me pencils are just ever so slightly bigger than the cosmetic art ones that um, that are that this was made for. So if you if you just try to pop it in here, it's not going to work right. You have to slide it in like this, and then once it reaches this tip, it it it's see how it's like it's like stuck. So you do have to actually just lightly press. And I don't know if you can see this, but it actually shaves off just a tiny bit um, just pressing it in there. So that's the trick. You actually have to just lightly press. And then once you do it once, it's already the perfect size, even when you're turning it around and doing it the other way. But, um, but so just once you get to the tip, and I'll show you one more time. Um, but so I'm just going to do it from scratch. So we'll peel it off. I'll go ahead and break off this tip. So I'll show you that one more time. So here, you can't just shove it in. You have to slide it in. And then again, it's going to be like, oh, it's stuck. It doesn't fit. Then you just put one finger here, one finger here, and you just slightly, lightly press. And as it does this, it actually shaves off a little bit. So that's, that's how you use a sharpener. I will show you actually sharpening it as well, so hang on. So I'll just grab this guy and you don't want to put your finger here because you could accidentally cut your finger right so you want to brace like this and then shave away from yourself I'm gonna do one two three you can do it in one pass but I find just doing it kind of a layer at a time I get a sharper edge so there's one side. And then I'll do this other side here. Again, tuck your finger under so you don't accidentally cut your finger. Press this just a little deeper. There we go, perfection. Okie doke. So, so here is our finished super sharp china marker. And just to show you how crisp and beautiful Here is our super thin strokes we can get with this and they are like pretty on there so it's pretty awesome so there we go thanks for watching